The story of the movie in general hardly touches controversial topics, but those topics that are touched for a few seconds leave you thinking that Luigi has had a difficult and sad life. In the beginning of the film, we see that Luigi suffers from bullying since this loser harasses and insults him, and he is not able to defend himself because he feels a strong fear, so Mario defends him. Many people think that Luigi is fearful because that's how he is. Apparently, certain things point out that that is not entirely true. At one point in the film, it is seen that, since he was very young, he suffered bullying. This indicates that, apart from these characters that bothered him, at an unknown point in his life, there were more people that made him feel sad and who knows if he didn't fall into depression or anxiety. If you comment the angry emoji, you would be saying, Stop bothering Luigi or I will throw a banana peel at you! <laughs> There is a huge possibility that poor Luigi grew up traumatized by the horrible events he lived, and now, in his adult life, he has not overcome the trauma, leading him to feel more fear than usual when he lives an event out of the ordinary. Later in the video, I will reveal a horrible problem that Luigi and Mario have with their family, such problems that caused Luigi to live a life full of trauma and fears. In this video, we will show you things that you didn't know and the theories of the Super Mario Bros. movie. You can comment the surprised emoji if you didn't know what you will see today. You can also leave the laugh emoji if you think it's a lie. Tell me who this character is. The answers will be in a new video. If you support the video with a like and subscribe to the channel, you will receive a power star! Inside Bowser's flying ship, they show that they have captured numerous victims and locked them in a cage. Through these scenes, we meet a blue flame-shaped character called Lumily. This character has a characteristic that makes him unique. He always expresses the crude reality that lives such a character who interacts with the flame and expresses it mockingly. The movie doesn't explain why the flame was captured, but things imply that Bowser ordered Lumily to be locked up, since he told him the unvarnished truth about his reality living, and he got extremely furious. If you watched the movie and used your common sense, you will realize that this fact makes a lot of sense, since Bowser hates to be made to see his true reality, and whoever does so punishes him mercilessly as seen in these scenes. The million dollar question here is, what did he tell Bowser? Did he reveal to him that he will never marry Princess Peach? Or did he tell them that he is ugly? <laughs> Comment what you think Lumily told the evil Bowser. In this movie, they don't show much about Luigi and Mario's family, but in those small scenes where we see them, we can observe certain facts that point out that it is a family that has economic problems. Uh, basically, our beloved guys come from a low-income family. In the first few minutes of the film, we see the reality of Luigi and Mario's lives. However, we did not realize this because we were distracted by the sounds and animation of the scene, which at that moment brought us a lot of nostalgia. In these scenes, they present an advertisement in which the protagonists promote their plumbing services. At the end of the commercial, we learn that the guys spent all the money they had saved in that commercial. In other words, Mario and Luigi were bankrupt at that very moment. So glad we spent our life savings on this commercial. That is not my when they return home, Mario's dad mentions that Mario left a stable job for an impossible dream. This suggests that Mario's dream was to generate money by providing his plumbing services. Unfortunately, his dream was falling apart and his family members were not providing him with emotional support. In this case, the same thing happened with Luigi's situation that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Mario's family made him feel like garbage because they are toxic. Soon, we are going to talk about the family issue. Therefore, I invite you to continue watching the video. But if you don't want to wait any longer, on the screen we'll be showing right now in which minute of the video we talked about this issue, so you can go and watch it right now.
Donkey Kong is known to all of us as a wild gorilla that endlessly smashes, smashes, and destroys anything. However, at one point in the movie, Donkey, feeling sad, mentions that he feels his father thinks that he is a nobody. Then he says that he is much more than a wild gorilla that destroys. At least you're not gonna die with your dad thinking you're a joke. Go over the corner and smash some stuff, Smash Monkey! Huh? I am poor! This suggests that Cranky Kong doesn't appreciate his son, while Donkey would love to be appreciated by his father. There is the crazy possibility that Cranky is forcing Donkey to act like an evil gorilla because he is living a frustrated dream through his son of being a strong gorilla who destroys everything in his path without facing the consequences. This leaves us wondering if it is really true and in the case that it was, then Donkey Kong has been living a life full of manipulations because he does things that he does not agree with and he only does it for the purpose of pleasing his father. Now, let's talk about the horrible problem that Mario and Luigi live with their family. The first glimpse we have is when the guys return home after their first job. From the beginning of the scenes, we see six to seven relatives at the table who are ready to eat. And although we don't exactly know their relationship with the protagonists, it's easy to understand that they are relatives. And these two characters are the parents of Mario and Luigi because the same film confirms it. At first glance, you can see that the family has certain problems and some are more serious than others. Besides having economic problems, something that is common as many families face this. However, what is not common or normal and should not happen is to live in family violence. As you are already imagining, Mario and Luigi live through family violence in their own home. This film is aimed at younger children, yet the story touches slightly on this family problem and shows it through small scenes that only last a couple of seconds. For example, it is seen that Mario does not have a good relationship with his father, so much so that his father does not give his emotional support or words of motivation when Mario's dreams are destroyed every day that passes because almost no one hires him. The father is so toxic and inconsiderate that this hard time Mario is living, he scolds him in front of everyone because he left his previous job which was better. After he finishes saying all that, he acts like he never said anything important. The father easily gave Mario to understand that he doesn't care about his feelings and that he is a fool for trying to fulfill his dreams. The bad luck for these two guys does not end here, since everything indicates that the mother also has a somewhat toxic mentality because she kept quiet when he was arguing with Mario, and if she did not say anything, it is because she agrees with her husband. This terrible attitude that the parents maintain is the reason that poor Luigi has not overcome the traumas of the bullying that he experienced years ago. If we let ourselves be guided by the attitudes presented by Mr. and Mrs., I doubt that they will help Luigi to forget those memories, or that they will take him to therapy in order to overcome the traumas. The result of not overcoming his traumas ended up being quite depressing, and we see this in the scenes that are crucial to the film. When Luigi faces the different different dark scenarios, it is sad to see how he reacts to them, and it is even sadder to see how these events end. Anyway, everything mentioned above you can take as a silly theory or as a real fact. I leave it all to your decision. You have the last word. Don't forget to comment your opinion or leave the emoji that expresses your opinion. To close the video, let's talk about something curious. This funny film is full of references to the multiple Mario Bros games and also contains winks to other movies that are not related to Illumination or Nintendo. For this time, we will mention a wink only. When Mario is practicing with Princess Peach to be able to face Bowser, the movie plays the song I Need a Hero. This song is an iconic melody thanks to the second Shrek movie because the evil fairy godmother sings it in the pillar moments of the story. Maybe you're saying, that's not a reference or a wink, it's just a coincidence. Well, be it one or the other, it's a fact worth mentioning. This 
video is about to end. That's why I want to say hello to everyone who commented on the previous video. Just now will be appearing on your screen videos for you to watch. I invite you to click on one of them. I'm sure you will be fascinated by the video. My name is Kira, and we'll be listening to each other in a future video. Bye!